Pokémon Tournament here at EVO 2016. We are in Losers Finals right now. Losers Finals. Oh, we no. made it. Oh man, the last American. Last American through. standing. And uh, Swillow, one of the only members, uh, you know, South Florida, South Florida native, mm -hmm. um, comes up here with Bim, Suicune Master, or, you know, Omagoma. He's one of the only members, one of the highest ranked players, and to not have already received his trip to Worlds. Ooh, so this actually matters a lot because it's the difference between third and second place to get that trip to Worlds. Yes, he this... needs to win this oh, if he wants to win his trip to Worlds. That's a huge deal. But <laughs> a stone wall stands in his way. Oh no. The breaks in wonder. Tono Sama. Indeed, quite the wall to climb right now for Swillow. But you know, I gave uh, I gave Swillow a little bit of experience in this matchup. We do play, <laughs> we do play pretty often, and you know, regular. <laughs> DC, there are levels, all right. Uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I was about to say, I was about to say. <laughs> so Tono Sama, absolutely on a different level uh, than any other racing player in the world. This this man is. Uh, Truly, the Bricks and Messiah. Definitely, definitely. Oh man. But yeah, having some of that matchup experience will help him out, though. At least he understands some of the move sets and uh, abilities of all the moves that Bricks can throw out. You know, I really hate to spoil it a little bit, but the last time uh, wasn't Pokemon Nationals. I think it was um, St. Louis Showdown. Uh, uh, Swillow was taken out by a Bricks and player. Oh no! Yep. A Bricks and player. A Bricks and player. Mm. A one whose name escapes me, but a Bricks and player nonetheless. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> And now he's got to fight the breaks in player. The breaks in. Tomo Sama, if you've ever read his Twitter, he's pretty much breaks in himself. <laughs> There's a Togekiss again. He has so much faith in his Togekiss. Nice. Crouching under the Psycho Cut. See, there is on hit. He just, <laughs> just got to guess afterwards, man. I like how he used a 9 frame option to pretty much beat anything. Uh, down the Y, 9 frame, start and recovers very fast, so. Looking for Swillow in this first round. He started off very strong, but uh, all crumbling around him. Yeah. As he walks into that boomerang. Just kind of getting hit by a lot of the projectiles. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Too many embers and whatnot. I mean, easier said than done, honestly. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I mean, Tonosama is doing a great job with his mix ups on his projectiles as well. Yeah, Bricks and Joe has a very strong fuel phase. Um, I wouldn't say it's the strongest of the game, but it's, it's a very, very strong. And even when you see Breaks and kind of just using Sunny Day, then you're just kind of like thinking, oh, I should go in. He's getting some buffs. Yeah. So, a really good mix up for Tonosama. Alright, so Swillow being a lot more respectful than I expect him to. Uh, Psycho Cut beats almost every single thing that Breaks and does in Field Phase. Oh, okay. In, in Dual Phase, obviously, you have to worry about being low stance, but there's no low stance in Field Phase, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Surprised he's not just matching Psycho Cut. <laughs> right, right. That broomstick combo, let's go. Flame charge canceling. Very, very specific time you need to do that. Oh, and there it is. That's what I'm talking about. Psycho Cut just beating everything. Yeah, yeah, it's a good initiation. And it gets the phase shift that he may need. <sighs> he, uh, this is his old, this is neutral strategy. Just when can I forward X? Oh, he misses that conversion, though. Kind of a big opportunity miss. Given the life lead. Oh, this is my combo. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> A little bit too slow with that side beam, though. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, he tries to hyper beam, too! Yeah, I don't know why. I don't even know what he was thinking. Oh, no. Hyper beam, definitely not the right call there after the fire speed. Oh, man. Tonosama, very, very strong at game number one. This should be enough. Yeah. Oh, oh. Shadow Mitsu left with four HP remaining. What? Nice. Breaks and the <laughs> first attacks are not strong. Yeah, it's pretty weak. But he, well, he did have a defense buff from uh, flashing red HP. Right, right, right. But here, he really can't make any initiations, and he's got 10 seconds left on the clock. Will this speedy Mewtwo do anything? Oh, oh! Oh, yeah, but that's the Ice Punch just punch along the clock. Yeah, and Emola coming out to enjoy the victory dance. Sounds like a very strong game number one. Swillow. I'll say I'd like to see him use Psycho Cut more in field phase. Yeah, yeah. He does have a, a couple, an extra match to play around with because this is Loser's Finals, 3 out of 5. Yes. But that being said, oh man, Tonosama very happy with his first victory. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going he knows. into it quite confident. Yo, he wants that run back against Boontown, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. He was not happy about him running it back, so. I see it, he sees it from the breaks of Zen. Okay. So that side range projectile can be beaten by just the, the, the side side beam, the roll side beam. Right. So I have to be careful with the way you use it. Combo into a Molda. 
And I make that Toji Kiss kind of useless. Yeah. It's really weird to see him use Toji Kiss, though. I don't know, man. I really think he would benefit so much because it's just not a factor in this game, and it could be something, you know? Yeah. So is really having a hard time dealing with this neutral from Tonazama. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, even though he probably does have a lot of experience in this matchup, you know, playing me and other Breaks and players very often, uh, we, we all play very, very different. Yeah, that's the thing about this game. Like, the characters do have some flexibility, for sure. Oh man, what a call-out by Tonosama, working on such a strong match. That being said, I feel like Tonosama does all the correct things with Breaks in. You know, I just don't think there's any... Improvements to be made. Yeah, this guy. I, don't, I don't know what else to say about this. Don't someone has got his number completely. Yeah. Uh, Swell's gonna have to just change up his play, um, at, like a complete 180 in his play if he wants to win this. But like I said, Swell, his, his game plan is oh, uh, very often the same, which yeah. which is a good thing, you know, for the most part. He's very consistent. But yeah, it brought him all the way here to uh, losers finals. But you do need to change it up if you're getting uh, beaten for the same things you're trying. Agreed. Oh, if he let that that uh, high green rock, that would uh, confirm punish. Yeah. Still trying to make his way in there with four decks. Please, Swallow. Very, very, very stubborn. Uh, for the most part, you know, in other matchups, it's been working out for him very often, but uh, in this matchup, I feel like he's gotten punished almost every single time. Mm -hmm. the shift. You're right that we're not seeing the cycle cuts that much. Damage and gets to slow down. And gets his own buffs. Tonosama playing breaks in the way she was meant to be played. Uh, I think he's playing breaks in the way that the developers didn't realize this she could be played. <laughs> <laughs> now, he really does look, make breaks look like she's an uh, extremely strong character. She is a very strong character. Yeah. Um, this is, honestly, this is absolutely a matchup she struggles in. Uh oh, uh oh. This is Swillow's chance. This is huge damage. Huge damage. Luckily, that face is going to save Tonosama with one HP remaining. What is the mix up? Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, the call out. Just side Y. Just yeah. do it. <laughs> why, why not? Why not? Wait, why not? I can think of a couple of reasons why not. Like, he, he had one HP remaining. Man. <laughs> you know? All risk, let's go. Yeah, that, that he took a risk and it paid off for him. Meanwhile, that Mewtwo behind Swillow is... Looking mad. That's looking like Swillow's Mewtwo, honestly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go, Swillow. Let's see it. No, he's still sticking with the Togekiss. Why? This man. Oh, man. This man. It, it helps a lot in the field phase. You know, Togekiss is great against zoners in field phase. It yeah. pretty much makes a lot of their zoning irrelevant. But Right. That being said, I actually think like he could swap it out with the current. He could just go Rotom, because there's a lot of times he's very jumpy, Tonosama. Yeah. And he could get something off of that. But, yeah, he's, he's really sticking true to his Togekiss. One cool thing I noticed about Tonosama, in <laughs> almost every match I've watched him, I don't think I've ever seen him use Fire Blast. Ever. Oh. Huh. It's funny because um, Fire Blast is what a lot of people complain about. About, you know, about Breaks and like, right. oh my god, Fire Blast is so strong, I can't believe this attack. Yeah. But yeah. he literally does not use it. Huh. He doesn't even need it. This man has a slim charge, cancel timing on point. That is very, very rough timing. And the fact that he's so consistent with it really shows how much uh, work he puts in with this character. There we go, finally getting some started there in the field phase. Nice. Wow, that was really weird. Uh, so he did EX Flame Charge, somehow found a way to cross himself up on top of Mewtwo. I've actually never seen that happen before. And he gets clipped by that Psychic too, huh? All right, I, so I, at this point, I think is when I would stop using 4X. Oh, no. <laughs> so the fire spin was just directly oh, no. in front of him. Swillow said, you know what, I'm going to try and 4X this, this fire spin and see what happens. Hey, he's Mewtwo. He can do whatever he wants, DC. Uh, Maybe in the, the movies, but this is uh, clearly a, a different Mewtwo. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. Yeah, that attack, uh, Fully Charge Focus Blast, really, really hard to counterattack. You have to time it 100% perfectly. And just one hit confirm off the Amolga will seal the deal for Tonosama on that round. Things are looking not good at all for Swole as the last American player standing. Oh, is he going to get the 30? Is he going to get the 3-0? Okay. Start now, finally using Psycho Cut. Uh, boy, it's not to be using in field phase. Might have, I think he might have dropped uh, one of those Sim Charge cancels. It's fine. I, 
Alright, still leaves you in a good position. Oh, there's the Fire Blast, finally. Using that to get uh, the Sunny Day afterwards. Yeah, keep himself safe. And if a projectile does come out, then the Fire Blast can use its animation. Great confirm. So look at that damage, man. Yeah, yeah. And he's gonna really have to, like, bank on that advantageous damage situation and do it more often. Again, easier said than done for sure. Nice. Second hit of Psychic Touch, gonna knock him right out of the air. Now Swill finally working on a good round. Yeah. Yes, and this this should be enough. It's a crit. There you go. On the board. So this is it, man. This is the beginning of the ultimate run back. That's, this is how it starts, DC. Yeah, that's exactly what Swill needed if he wants to keep himself in this tournament and get some momentum. Oh, he hurt me, man. He got hurt. He's using Fire Blast all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working out for him, though. Yeah, it isn't. It uh -oh. really not for him, so. <laughs> Wow, that's so unfortunate, man. Had the correct call out with the dive kick, but the boomerang coming back traded with the dive kick. Yeah. <laughs> and again, those embers are light attacks. They're just kind of getting Nick when uh, he's using Mega Evolution form. Calls out the jump. Ooh, is that going to confirm? Yes, he's going to connect. The cool thing about landing this, he also instantly gets his support meter back from just landing the super. Yeah, come on, man. This is the cutest thing in the game. <laughs> oh, okay. No. <laughs> yes, I solo with that last ditch effort. And with the wall spot, he could have got another hyper beam, huh? Yeah, I think he got the wall spot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, things are looking good for Swillow. Oh, but calls out the grab of the Moga. Okay. We got an honest game, no meter, and no support. Oh no! So Swillow oh. takes it! So, wow. <laughs> oh, that's super unfortunate. So Tonasama was low stancing the cycle cut. Yeah. He let go of low stance at the last second, got oh, hit with the tail no. end of cycle cut, and kind of put him in a bad situation. This time to just Look at this. Look, okay, so low stancing it, ready, and oh, let's go. Oh no, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, that's... he's doing a great job for those psycho cuts, avoiding all of them. Nearly all of them, I should say. All right, so Swillow on the boards, finally. Yeah, <laughs> 2 1, let's go. This fan says, I'm not going out 3 0, I'm instead going out. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> America's <laughs> last hope. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you finished that sentence for me. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if Solo can do it again. You know, on the verge of getting 3-0'd, being able to close out a match is like the best feeling in the world. That oh. means you realize, wow, okay, I can do it. I'm not just getting bodied. Yeah, yeah, you have some momentum on your side. Just a little bit. It's definitely a hard fought though, getting into third round. Oh, Saifa gonna eat that side beam. Makes Willis realize Psy Psycho Cut is the answer in fuel phase. It stops everything. <laughs> the only thing I didn't know is about Willis not using forward X quite as much as he was before. Yeah, man. He's uh, really <laughs> listening to your coaching. <laughs> as I say that, uses forward X immediately. <laughs> Thank you, Swillow. <laughs> From one jab into a Mulga. Yeah, those hit confirms are crazy. It's cool though, like for the most part it's even safe because you know even if he got unblocked, the Emolga is also safe on block, so yeah, yeah. And I like that he confirms into Emolga just so he gets that debuff as well. Especially Oh and he's not running Togekiss this time! Oh yeah, change to Sylveon! Okay, oh, wow. Let's go! Taking all our advice right now. <laughs> no forward X's, switching up the support. Oh, so he's dropping block right there. <laughs> wow, hit him. I believe that was out of uh, right before counter hit Bobby's a barrier. Nice. Great, great call out by Tomasama. And again, Swillow finding himself one round away from being completely knocked out of this tournament. At the end of the day, didn't get 3 0 man. So things yeah. could be much worse right now. Oh, yeah, definitely something. But he wasn't too far off in that last round. I, I, I believe in him. I know he can do it. Yeah, yeah, def agreed, agreed. None of these are blowouts. I think the Sylveon is actually affecting some of the battle because with that defense buff, suddenly breaks his attacks and don't do anything. Yeah, I don't think you just know this. Uh, Solo with the, the angled hyper beam to call out the side beam roll. Uh -huh. He had the right read, but side beam just barely hit him before uh, the hyper beam to connect. Uh, again, focus blast just outlasting the counter. 
These confirms are so crazy. He gets just the one hit and he's like, oh, okay, I got it. I'm gonna go right into a Molga. No, but yeah, like I was saying, the thing is, like, you, it doesn't even matter because you can just press the one hit and then mash a Molga. Worst case scenario, if right. the one hit gets blocked, you can still cancel until Molga because it's yeah. great. So it's pretty safe then. Yeah, 100% safe. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Brace does have a lot of good things about it. I love yeah. this character. Yeah. Can't wait until the, uh,. The 1,000 people trying to play Brixen after this tournament. Oh man, that play is going to be <laughs> you guys are in for so a rude, much fun. <laughs> a rude awakening, I promise you, unless you're Tonosama, you're going to have a really bad time. <laughs> and the combo against that Molga. Again. So aware. But I really do like the uh, Sylveon pick from Solo. So, Tonosama in. Oh. Oh, weird. Oh, man, the bait. <laughs> oh, he caught him. Wow. Yeah, so he did a low flame charge. The Swole said, you know what? Is he coming towards me? Let me uh, counterattack this. But that means that's how you beat flame charge. But... Good call out. Ah, good call out. That'll do it. Like you said, does not go out 3-0, goes out 3-1 instead. A amazing, amazing showing from Swilla going out third here in the largest Pokémon Tournament tournament. Not only third, but also the highest placing American player at the largest Pokémon Tournament tournament in North America. And the largest, and the, <laughs> the highest placing South Floridian. <laughs> oh, and the highest placing South Floridian, you're right. Yeah, that's a lot of bells you can take home, man.